G'day guys and welcome to Warcraft News. Alright guys, I know I'm a couple days late than I normally do. I was waiting for Blizzard to announce the two week notice for the uh, PvP season to sort of finish. They haven't done that yet, so we've got at least another three weeks to get your ratings. So if you haven't already, start to get your grind on to be able to get your uh, higher ranks and that sort of stuff. So good luck with that. A couple of notices for the Darren McTire stuff. There is a new website coming, which should look really cool and be a lot more functional than the previous one. And also the Bad to Glad series. Here, take a look at this. So that should be an interesting series with Wow Hobbs, Patrick J, Zet, and all these other guys going from bad to glad. It should be very exciting and interesting to watch, so make sure you subscribe for that. Last week I had claimed that Balimos and Rekfor had been banned. Uh, Rekfor wasn't the case that he hadn't been banned at all. Apparently he got somebody else banned, so I thought I'd just uh, let you guys know because... Damn, those comments went fucking crazy. <laughs> so, Balamos, last week I said that he had been banned for wind trading and that sort of stuff. It may or may not have been true. Uh, reasons why, uh, last week Blizzard came out and said that they were going to fix up the mistakes that they caused with the mass bannings. Apparently they got some wrong and only the most blatant ones were going to get stuck with the uh, with the bannings and uh, the loss of ratings. I looked at Balamos's armory profile uh, right after the reset and his rating was back pretty much straight away so uh, it looks like blizzard doesn't think that he was uh, cheating whether it is true or not i don't know that is up for you to decide i guess also with balimos he has agreed to do a interview but with the time differences it's kind of hard to get in contact with him i haven't heard from him in over a week so hopefully, Balamos, if you see this, get in contact with me and uh, whenever you're ready, we can do an interview. Uh, it's, it'll just be quick and sweet. And uh, let me know or let Balamos know if you're uh, interested in seeing this uh, interview as well. Excuse that Skype. I thought I put it on D&D. &D. That was actually Doug from Darren McTire. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Um, okay, if you're a numbers person and like to see what is happening with the Blizzard, Activision Blizzard kind of uh, financials, I will put a link in the description down below. Now, I'm not going to talk about it too much because there are far too many numbers. Um, the basic gist of it is that World of Warcraft subscribers is down to 9.6 million, but apparently they're still making more money. Uh, they go on to say something like uh, Diablo 3 was the number one selling game in PC in 2012, and that uh, Mr. Pandaro was the third best PC selling game in the world as well. So uh, you, if you want to check all that out, read it out. Uh, I think the numbers were skewed for the Diablo 3 since uh, um, everybody got it for, for free as part of their su subscription payment with World of Warcraft. So uh, I don't know how accurate those numbers are going to be uh, when you have a, a, an offer that includes stuff for free and they're claiming that it's sold. So if you want to read, I didn't read it in great details. If you want to read it, link is in the description down below. Currency conversion time. Now, I'm not really going to touch over the PvE stuff as most people here are PvP guys. Uh, it works in the same sort of principle anyway. So if you have conquest and honor and the conquest is going to get converted to honor at a rate of one to one now if you have 4000 honor and 2000 conquest you will effectively lose that conquest but you will get 35 silver per one conquest or one honor that you have so it will be converted to uh to gold uh, silver whatever you want to call it and uh yeah so if you want to make the most out of your gold, I would suggest that you buy like the minerals or the enchanting mats from your honor points that you have equal to your conquest points. I hope that made sense. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's just a standard standard time, standard... We've been through this a couple of times over these news periods, so um, yeah. <laughs> Warlock Greenfire Questline. Now, I've said for years and years and years that I freaking hated that Warlocks used fire. It just didn't make sense. Yes, I know Warlocks started off as mages and then went down the path to become a Warlock and get more dots and handle it and all that sort of stuff, but uh, it just didn't make sense that Warlocks had all this shadow stuff, but yet they still cast fire. Uh, just, 
uh, it's it, why I stopped playing my Warlock. Not that any of you guys give a crap about that, but in the next coming patch 5.2, Warlocks will be getting all new spell effects and changes, and you can do this through a quest line, uh, I believe. Now, uh, a link will be in the description, also on the TV here, to uh, a guy that shows you each step on what to do to get your green fire quest line and uh, get some warlocks a bit more personality to their class which I think is really good. Alright guys that's it for this week I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment favorite subscribe and all that sort of good stuff check out my channel this week's question is do you think Balamos was guilty of win trading or not uh, we'll find out in the comments down below I guess. Alright guys thanks for watching and as always stay beautiful.